Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today quick video today I will uh, show you my tools that I use for espresso that will be a tamper and a leveler and uh, the question for today is is Nomco uh, force tamper and Nomco leveler better than the generic uh, tamper and generic uh, leveler Nomco is not expensive but it is more ex definitely at least twice as as expensive as the as the generic stuff Nomco is also also more uh, precise so the pr uh, precision tampers uh, tamper is 58.5 millimeters the same for the leveler while the generic ones are usually 58 and 58 so let's do quick unboxing and and then we pull two shots and we see if if there is any difference and if it's worth paying extra okay so let's start with the nomco leveler or as they call them distribution tool well everybody apart from me so in the nice box i guess there is a you can click on the code and it will tell you something about it so we've got nice metal stand and nice like a wedge which you can regulate the top is made out of high quality plastic and this is a oh, you can actually see the precisions can you see it how precise it can be the regulation i like the way there's no no uh, extra edge around here if you can see on my cheap leveler there is lots of coffee residue obviously i do clean it but there is always lots of coffee residue in the edges this one not so much so it should it should be cleaner and you can see exactly uh, where you are i've never used the wedge like this so i don't know exactly how it will work but i i like it already and the nice stand I've no, I know that I've done already unboxing of the uh, spring-loaded tamper from, from Nomcore for La Pavoni. Uh, so just a quick one, so I'm sure it's exactly the same, just bigger. So you've got them kind of a manual, so there will be three springs inside. So there is a tamper, again with the nice stand. A bit bigger obviously than the one for the la pavoni otherwise it looks exactly the same so i'm not a fan of the look but it works nicely so you put it into the uh, porta filter it will only press as hard as the spring allows this one in the spring inside is 25 uh, pounds you also get the spring that is 15 and 30 I think and that's it so we've got Nomco damper we've got Nomco, Nomco wedge leveler uh, we've got generic damper and we've got generic leveler which one of those is better how do you think well let's pull a shot so first let's use the i'm using df64 by the way uh, let's use the my generic uh, tamper and uh, distribution tool i still use uh, wdt first so now we use the cheap level have a look you can see uh, there is that residue around and now the chip tamper that's how the pack looks like so not 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 the cleanest okay i'm using the standard uh, default um, profile 
So slowly the pressure will go to nine bars and then it will be slowly coming down. We're aiming for about 45 seconds. Uh, Pressure is ramping up. And for me, for my eye, it looks okay. It took forty three seconds. 43 seconds so it's about what we were aiming for i lost my spoon somewhere so i will have to use this the coffee i'm using is it's a kind of a fruity um, coffee naturally processed uh, pineapple grapefruit and vanilla <sighs> smells amazing so I'm, I'm getting that grapefruitness there's a hint of a sweetness maybe pineapple as well somewhere at the back very good shot i, I like coffee that is uh, unusual and that's this what this one definitely is so let's pull a shot another shot but this one we will use the the precision tamper and a precision uh, leveler and we see if there is any difference coffee in wdt and the first time i use this uh, wedge and especially and the first time I use Nomco wedge as well. Uh, I try to set it up the same depth as the, the, the auto tamper, but difficult to say. Definitely more precise. It's almost, almost to the edge. There is still, there is still a little bit. Okay, around the edges but much less and it's mostly on the top where I would still clean it and the leveler itself it's clean while this one is full of full of coffee now I will just clean the edges so have a look this one when it goes inside it rattles this one uh, it's it's almost as wide one more millimeter and this one wouldn't go in now the tamper so with this tamper you press and then you rotate press and then rotate i have to say the it looks much much cleaner very very neat uh, pack okay but the clear the, that's that's the, how the pack looks like it's not really important what's important is that does it help with the coffee extraction <laughs> and does it help with the coffee taste well Oh, the shot looks very nice it took it took one second longer and there were some funny bits at the end with the extraction so all through the shot it the, the water flow and the espresso flow about the same at the end there was some probably the pack this this disintegrate or whatever so i leave the um, explanation for experts i don't know a bit less crema but let's see about the taste so cheers guys smells the same it doesn't look that good i mean i'm surprised but uh, Ah. <sighs>
I think I, I, I think there is a difference, but you know, even if when you pull 10 shots on the same machine with the same settings, there will always be, you know, we are not machines, even the machine is not a machine. <laughs> I mean, uh, there, are, there are some differences. So I like the second shot a bit more. There is more, a, bit, a little bit more clarity and, and a little bit more fruitiness in the shot, but that, that can be a coincidence. So let me check it again. Yeah, I, I like the second shot more, <laughs> uh, but I cannot say for sure that is because I use uh, Nomco Tampa and Nomco uh, Leveler. What I can say for sure, they are definitely much more precise. Uh, they leave a very clean coffee pack, nicely prepared for the extraction. Um, from what I've seen, the extraction was about the same. You guys will be able to, to, to see it maybe better. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, it was about the same. I dropped the phone during the, the second shot, but uh, <laughs> hopefully you, you, you could see the, the, the entire process. The second shot tastes better. I don't know why. <laughs> the, the first one was good, the second one is slightly better. More, more nuances in the coffee, but that, that could be just me, I don't know. Um, so would I recommend getting those uh, precision tools? I think so, yeah. I think uh, neatness, the cleanness, uh, possibly better taste of the coffee. The channeling, I don't, I'm not sure if it's, but if you use WDT tool and the tamper, I'm not even sure if the leveler is necessary. That's the, that's the topic for another discussion, is the leveler necessary? Probably just, is, is the WDT tool necessary? Probably just a tamper. Some people even say don't tamp. <laughs> uh, for some shots we don't tamp, or we, we, we use just a gentle pressure. The quality of the, temp, the, the force tamper and the leveler is better, and the way the way it works, because it's precise, it's 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 better very close to the edges so i like them i will be using them and i do recommend them uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you haven't plenty more videos coming so if you like this kind of style of little bit chaotic uh, uh, videos from my small kitchen full of coffee equipment then definitely subscribe and hopefully hopefully i will see you soon thank you very much bye